What is up an army? I am GameNair5 coming at you with a brand new video. My eyes are itchy. <laughs> Weird timing for that. Anywho, welcome back to the Nair Army Christmas Countdown of 2022. Welcome to day 15. Now, as I said in the last episode yesterday, uh, this is by far, this most likely going to be the biggest build of the entire Christmas countdown. Now, take it, there is another thing like this later on in the countdown, so it might end up not being the biggest, but we will see. <laughs> Time will tell. It's not that. <laughs> Anywho. Um, yeah, today we are building one of the biggest builds in the list this year. You guys are about to find out what it is. Day 15, what are we working on today? Day 15, yesterday you opened your wings to the main city. In building the Hunt's store. Yes, that's what we did yesterday. A very strange build. <laughs> because we literally left the area we've been in the entire Christmas countdown so far. So, uh, yeah. What we'll do today? I, well, you could probably, uh, you probably already read the rest. Today, you are coming back into the National Park. And building the Inair Army Burial Center. Yes, yes, yep, mm-hmm, yep, I've decided that this is something we're doing this year, and that's why this is so freaking, uh, one of, by, probably gonna be the biggest one we're doing, because, ah, uh, barrel centers are not small, <laughs> I don't know why I picked this, <laughs> because it is not small, this one's not a small one, so, um, yeah, I have no idea how this is going to go. I know exactly where it is. We kind of can't take our horse to it yet as well. It's kind of, um, how do I put this? Um, blocked off at the, there's no road going to the, <laughs> to that square because I'm not, I, I'm literally uncertain how big it's actually going to be. I made a square. For it. But I'm pretty darn certain the square is not gonna be big enough. So, uh, yeah, that's the square right there. <laughs> uh, I'll deal with that chicken later. Anywho, this is the cube that I'm talking about. I'm pretty darn certain this is not big enough. But, we will find. Because before I start, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna get add the uh, dimensions that we need for it and uh, put them in. So, uh, so this is a huge build this today. So I'm starting this on the 14th, and this is gonna take a very long time to do. Especially with the amount of trees we're going to have to remove for this build. Wait, look how many trees are in this area. Hey, with that, guys, let's hit it. Let's go! Day 15!
So, the varial center, the magical tree varial center is sort of complete. Not fully complete. <laughs> this build, I there's a lot of things I don't know how I'm do, gonna do them yet, so I left them out. Um, I will t say what the well, a couple of them is pretty obvious. A road, no road to it. B parking lot. There's no parking lots yet. And C the pla the party plaza. That's not in either. So those I don't know where they're going yet. Well. The road is pretty pretty simple it's coming off this. But um other than that I have no idea where the road's coming from. So going to <laughs> Another thing that I don't have um set is um not in there. Uh, well, we'll get to it when we get to it. Anywho, um let's just walk through this. This is by far the most unique out of all the variable centers I've built. Because it is so strange. <laughs> There's no other way of putting it. It is strange. The way this one is planned out. And this this one is weird. So, um... As I take to the sky, we have... This area is the only big cover that we have on the on the building originally the cover I much like all the others I was gonna have the cover go all the way around and not over the bottom back part but I decided against that and that um required me to do some last minute um changes so I like how it turned out with just this back it really allowed it to look very a lot more unique and um yeah so it turned out quite nice just going with the um this so um yeah then um that also means we only have one under area which is here so um that is going to be the award walkthrough area kind of like usual and uh History area, not entirely certain what we're going to do for that. We're still going to have that here, but yeah, I'm not sure where. But, um, yeah, before uh, before we go in, not not a lot of lighting yet. <laughs> so, uh, like, this room, no roof, half floor. <laughs> this is the box office. And, uh, yeah, I, I completely forgot to put it roof on this that's, that's literally the uh, only reason why this has no roof i completely forgot <laughs> anywho uh moving out of there that's the box office very boring it's also a little bit um hidden a kind of a weird one because the box office usually has an entrance going here but i didn't do that this time uh, i don't know why i didn't plan that in but um oh well anywho Going into the only inside portion at the moment, um, this is the award area, and eventually all these cases will have the awards that are given out um, in them, and uh, then uh, that same with above. Uh, I have not done this yet, um, and we're starting to add um light walls going up where we can keep track of the award winners. I have not done that yet in this one. <laughs> because I did not want I did not want to do that today. So um then moving out here to the other side, this side is kind of the behind the scenes area, but I still made it accessible if anyone wants to exit this way. And uh, this air side has the storage room. Once again, I meant to put a st ceiling on. Oh, ceiling. I didn't. <laughs> Oops. So, um, yeah. That is that. And uh, I guess now let's move out into the main area of the, of the building. And that is the outside area. So, um... Yeah, this was a very different one because I wanted a, a 
lot of water in the center. I got that. I also, a last minute choice was to put um, sand around the entirety of the water. So that actually turned out quite nice. I don't have the pillars in yet. Uh, that's something me and I are going to have to chat about. It might just be mine and hers that go up. I don't know. Probably will. And then, um, then I also haven't put up any of the banners yet. And one of the big things that I said I had to change when I decided not to extend the canopy outwards is, um, this. We have, um, we usually have the banners, the year banners, hanging over the, um, lower down section. Well, we physically can't do that right now <laughs> on this one because, well, there's no, um, no roof. So, this... And over there, there's one too. Um, this is where the banners will be hanging here. Then, um, yeah, and we have only four rows here, four rows over there, and tw 20 rows, I think, here. I'm, I would count them, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so, but that, that I don't really want to do. So, um, then, beyond that, um, not in here. Um, because I decided, because these were solo, was just four rows, I didn't want them to just be down here, kind of like this one. I didn't want it to be like that because I thought that would look too weird. So I decided I'm going to put a red barrier at the front and um, build it up. So it's pretty much on stilts, pretty much. Then, um, I decide with the, um, big platforms that were all, I always wanted to do this with one, and, uh, I finally got to do it, and, um, I put tunnels through the platforms to, um, both the smaller sections and to the other areas, which we don't know what we're doing here yet, so, um, yeah. It's on both sides and at the ends of the small rows, the small sections. But these ones have a slightly different purpose. Now, these ones go to the, um, this, these two over, over here and here. Oh, have, um, are, are meant to... A, get down, um, get down to this, which is the, um, uh, a part of the restaurant that will be back here, which I have not built yet. Um, and then, uh, uh from what I just said, this will go directly to the restaurant or whatever else will be back here. So, um, yeah. Yeah. It turned out pretty nice, and that's not even everything. Then, um, one of the first things I actually built was the, um, change room. Which is down here. Not fully complete yet. And this is what I was talking about, something that I'm not entirely certain- The other thing I'm not entirely certain about is, um, how am I going to do this? Because, um... Usually the change room just walks through, um, and I'm not wanting to do that this time. So I, uh, I made this tunnel. Then it hit me that I need to have an area for all of our, uh, like, um, crew, um, gear to go. So I have no backstage, like, full backstage area other than the other side, which I didn't put this to. So... <laughs> Um, that will take some more figuring out, might take a little indent here with a road going by, going to it, to, um, to, for it, but, uh, that will take some more thinking, and I did not want to delay this any more than I have to, so, um, yeah, oh, that was a lot of talking, <laughs> explaining the... I, design of this and everything. So, um, with that, let's go put our book away 
and call it a day. <sighs> this was a big bill. Now, I don't know if it took no, I don't know if it took as long as the hotel. It feels like it took longer. But the hotel, I had a lot um, less time on it. So, it probably, I feel like it might have taken as long to build both. But I'm not entirely sure. It's certain. So, um, yeah. <sighs> but hey, it's done now. We can call it a day. And I can rest before doing day fifth, day sixteen. <laughs> and with that, day fifteen is now put away. So, with that, with the really big build out of the way, I'm Game Near Five from the the Indian Army team signing off. I hope to see you all in the next episode of the Indian Army Christmas Countdown of 2022. I will see you tomorrow for day number 16, whatever it'll be. Hopefully it's nowhere near as big as that. But anywho, I hope to see you all in the next video and goodbye!